Ever wondered how to make the perfect spaghetti carbonara at home? Today we will unravel the secret to this classic Italian dish. It's all about using fresh, quality ingredients and getting the timing just right. So here's what you'll need. Around 300 grams of spaghetti, 150 grams of pancetta or guanciale, diced into small pieces, a couple of large eggs, 50 grams of grated pecorino romano cheese, or parmesan if you prefer, some freshly ground black pepper, a pinch of salt, and a drizzle of olive oil. These ingredients will come together to create a creamy, indulgent pasta dish that's sure to impress. Each ingredient plays its part, from the pancetta adding a salty crunch to the eggs and cheese combining to form a silky, rich sauce. Got all the ingredients? Great. Now let's move on to the cooking process. First off, we need to cook the spaghetti until it's al dente. Now you might wonder, why al dente? Well, it's because we want our spaghetti to have a firm bite, not too soft, not too hard, just right. So, let's start by filling a large pot with water. Don't be shy with the salt here. It's crucial to season the water as it's the only chance we get to flavor the pasta itself. Once the water is boiling at a good clip, it's time to add our spaghetti. Stir it occasionally to prevent it from sticking together. Now the trick to achieving that perfect al dente texture is to follow the package instructions, but take a minute off. This way, our spaghetti will still have that desirable bite to it. And remember, keep an eye on it. Pasta waits for no one. While the pasta is cooking, let's prepare the other components of our dish. The heart of carbonara is its pancetta or guanciale, cooked until crispy and golden brown. This Italian cured meat brings a robust flavor that's essential in creating an authentic carbonara. Now let's get to the sizzle, shall we? Start by warming a skillet over medium heat. A drizzle of olive oil will prevent the pancetta from sticking and help it achieve that irresistible golden crust. Once the oil is shimmering, it's time to introduce the pancetta. Listen to the satisfying sizzle as it hits the pan, a symphony of flavor in the making. Keep the meat moving in the skillet, allowing each piece to cook evenly. We're aiming for a crispy, golden brown texture that will add a delightful crunch to our carbonara. This process should take around five to six minutes. Remember, patience is key. Perfectly cooked pancetta is worth the wait. With our pancetta ready, let's move on to the sauce. The secret to a creamy carbonara lies in its egg and cheese sauce. Let's whip it up. Now, the magic of carbonara is in the simplicity of its ingredients working together to create a symphony of flavors. This is where the heart of our carbonara begins to beat. Start with a couple of large, fresh eggs. Crack them into a bowl and give them a good whisk. It's these eggs that will give our carbonara its iconic, creamy texture without the need for any cream. Next, we add the cheese. A generous 50 grams of Pecorino Romano or Parmesan, finely grated. And it's important to remember, the quality of your cheese matters. A good cheese will lend a wonderful nutty flavor to the sauce that's hard to beat. Now, combine the cheese with your whisked eggs, stirring until it forms a thick golden mixture. And here's where we add the secret ingredient, freshly ground black pepper. This isn't just for seasoning, the pepper actually plays a crucial role in bringing out the savory depth of the cheese and eggs, tying together all the flavors. So, don't be shy with it. You want to see those speckles of black throughout your sauce. You see, the beauty of this sauce is that it isn't cooked separately. The heat from our pasta will be enough to gently cook the eggs, creating a lusciously creamy and rich sauce that clings to every strand of spaghetti. And that's it. That's the essence of a traditional carbonara sauce. Simple, isn't it? But the simplicity is deceptive, because what it lacks in complexity, it more than makes up for in flavor. Our sauce is ready, and by this time our pasta should be cooked too. So, let's move on to marrying these elements together and transforming them into the glorious dish that is spaghetti carbonara. Stay tuned for the next part where we combine this creamy sauce with our pasta and pancetta. Now it's time to combine our cooked spaghetti with the crispy pancetta. This step is just as important as the rest, as it's all about infusing the pasta with that savory pancetta flavor. With the heat still on, introduce the drained spaghetti to the skillet. The pasta should sizzle as it hits the pan, a sign that it's ready to soak up all the deliciousness. Now toss everything together. You want to ensure each strand of spaghetti gets a good coating of the pancetta's oil. This is what gives our dish its signature depth of flavor. Keep tossing, and you'll see the pasta start to take on a glossy sheen. That's when you know you've done it right. You've got the perfect blend of pasta and pancetta ready for the next step. We're almost there. Let's bring everything together. Up next, we add the carbonara sauce, transforming our ingredients into a mouth-watering masterpiece. Here comes the crucial step, adding our creamy sauce to the hot pasta. 
This is the moment that transforms simple ingredients into a dish that's truly special. The secret to a perfect carbonara lies in the balance between heat and timing. The heat from the pasta will gently cook the eggs in the sauce, giving us that creamy, dreamy texture we're all after. Now, with the heat turned off, let's grab that bowl of whisked eggs and cheese we prepared earlier. You'll want to pour this mixture over our spaghetti and pancetta combo. But be quick, we don't want the eggs to scramble. We want them to meld with the pasta and form a silky, creamy sauce. As you pour the sauce, start tossing the pasta vigorously. This may seem a bit of an arm workout, but it's essential to ensure the spaghetti gets evenly coated and that the heat is distributed just right. The result is a dish that's not too dry, not too wet, but just right. A true Goldilocks moment. Keep stirring until you notice the sauce thickening slightly. The pasta will start to take on a glossy sheen, and that's when you know you've nailed it. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? The kind of culinary magic that makes cooking such a joy. But don't get too lost in admiration. If you notice the sauce getting a bit too thick, don't worry. Remember that cup of pasta water we reserved? A splash of it can help loosen the sauce, bringing it back to that perfect creamy consistency. And there we have it. The pasta is now dressed in its carbonara best, and the aroma wafting from the skillet is simply irresistible. It's a symphony of flavors waiting to be savored, a tribute to the simplicity and brilliance of Italian cuisine. Our spaghetti carbonara is almost ready. Let's plate it up. Here's the moment we've been waiting for, presenting our authentic spaghetti carbonara. With the pasta now perfectly coated in the creamy sauce, it's time to plate this masterpiece. Using a pair of tongs, twirl the spaghetti into a neat nest and gently place it onto a warm plate. This technique not only creates a visually appealing dish, but also makes it easier to eat. Now, let's not forget about our crispy pancetta or guanciale. Sprinkle this golden delight over the spaghetti, distributing it evenly to ensure every bite is a savory surprise. The richness of the pancetta beautifully counters the creamy sauce, creating a balance of flavors that is truly divine. But wait, we're not done just yet. The final touch to our authentic spaghetti carbonara is a generous dusting of freshly grated Pecorino Romano cheese, or Parmesan if you prefer. This adds an extra layer of depth to our dish, enhancing its overall flavor profile. And for those who enjoy a bit of heat, feel free to add a sprinkle of freshly ground black pepper. It will give your spaghetti carbonara a subtle kick, elevating it to new heights. Now take a moment to admire your creation. The velvety strands of spaghetti, the crispy pancetta, the dusting of cheese, and that hint of pepper all come together in a symphony of flavors and textures, a testament to the magic of Italian cooking. Before you dive in, take a deep breath. Inhale the enticing aroma of your spaghetti carbonara. It's a sensory experience that is just as important as the taste. It's the anticipation, the promise of a meal well made. And finally, it's time to dig in. Twirl a forkful of pasta, ensuring you get a bit of everything. As you take that first bite, Close your eyes and savor the moment. The creamy pasta, the salty pancetta, the sharp cheese, and the warming pepper all dancing in harmony on your palate. And there you have it, a perfect spaghetti carbonara right in your home kitchen. Buon appetito!